CloudWatch is a very powerful resource that helps you in pretty much anything you're doing on AWS. Let's go take a look at how that works. So let's type in CloudWatch. There we go. This allows us to monitor resources and applications. And from here, there's a bunch of different things that we can do. So uh, one of the things that you can do is you can set up alarms. You also can use it for events. So you can trigger a Lambda at a certain interval. So for example, if we wanted to take uh, our Marco Lambda function and call it over and over and over again, you could do that. And also you could look at logs and metrics. So there's there's really these, these big categories here, alarms, events, logs, and metrics. So in fact, we can really investigate all of the main features of CloudWatch uh, by going back to that Lambda function. So let's go through here and let's go to our uh, Lambda function again, and let's take a look at some CloudWatch logs. That's a good place to start. So uh, every time we call this Marco function, there's a monitoring tab here because you, you see that it has access here. And um, your function um, could, could go through here and access it. Now, because Previously, I changed the execution role. I'm gonna to have to change it back so that it has the ability to uh, do more than just uh, read from S3. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, make it go back to its default uh, execution role, which let's see here. We can either do that, or what we can also do is just, I have a development role here, and we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll save that. Okay, so once I have that role set up here, and I refresh. Now, uh, what we'll do is we'll look at monitoring, and you can see these CloudWatch monitoring. And I can run this function if I just test it over and over again. I can get some log entries, and I can say view logs in CloudWatch. And from here, uh, you can see by the timestamps, I can go through here and I can see the latest log file. So this is a great way to debug things in Lambdas is to use, again, our CloudWatch log search mechanism. I also could go back to my function if I wanted to and write debug messages. This is a really common thing to do. Let's just um, print in, we'll, we'll say, um, this is my event. We'll go say, this is my event. And I can pass in these uh, curly brackets here with the word event. Uh, and this is called an F string in Python. And this allows us to capture that and print it out to those logs. If I say save, and again, I test this, I run it a bunch of times, those Bob messages will show up and also these Marco messages, which should, will, will be able to show up. So let's again, go back to our CloudWatch uh, monitoring here and look, we can see invocations, durations. So this, this by itself is pretty helpful, but if you wanna really get into to the weeds, it's great to actually um, look at the actual output itself and we can see all the different outputs as well. And so what'll happen here is as, as we get more into this, uh, we'll be able to look at the specific uh, log messages. So here we see that now that I add that new output, I can find it in there. So CloudWatch again has lots of different features and logs is, something that you'll use a lot when you're developing applications and you can go to let's say lambda and actually put in messages inside the function itself to get that debugging right and that's what that message does so another thing to point out as well that is relevant to the uh, lambda ecosystem is i also can add a cloudwatch trigger so let's go through here and let's go to let's say cloudwatch events and from here um, I can actually create a new rule if I want to. So let's go ahead and create a new rule, and we'll call this um, uh, noisy, noisy one one minute, and and just say this this is a very uh, noisy uh, call, and this is going to happen uh, the call that happens every minute, and I can tell CloudWatch to call this over and over and over again. So how do I do that? Well, all I gotta do is just say rate one minute like that. And then this is gonna actually trigger every single minute now. So uh, if, if that's actually the, the correct uh, syntax, I think it's like this. There we go. There we go. So we've got that set up to be one minute. And now what we can do is we can uh, go again and look at these logs and we should be able to see this thing being called periodically from uh, that that uh, function. So uh, this this is another thing you can do that maybe you wanted to set up a data pipeline. Uh, again, you would set up a rule here and you can inspect those rules for events. And, and here we can see here, noisy one minute. 
and this will will be called and we can we can even see how often this is called by looking at logs so i'm going to go through here and uh, uh, remove this trigger because that's actually not going to be a great way to uh, uh, run this lambda function it doesn't really do anything uh, and then what we're going to do next here is is uh, make sure that we've got everything configured properly make sure that the permissions are correct and clean up anything else I want to do with this Lambda function. So as you can tell, CloudWatch is really the heart and soul of many of the different things you do on AWS from events to searching to actually uh, going through and cr creating dashboards for you automatically.